what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city phone today we're going to be comparing call of duty black ops 3 to call of duty advanced warfare but before we get into that i want to talk about the gameplay in the background real quick now this gameplay i was pretty much of a lone wolf lone warrior because my teammates all of them at the end went negative kd they didn't do good at all none of them even went past 14 kills in my side i went 38 kills with 33 kill confirms with 13 deaths so pretty much I was Lone Warrior out there. I don't know what the hell my teammates were doing, but I felt like I was playing with AI units. You know, it didn't feel real. So, um, yeah, it was a hell of a gameplay. A Lone Warrior myself and um, I'm telling you, I can held up on myself. All I just need is a whole clan that can actually do the same thing as I do. So anyways, moving on to the main topic, uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare versus Black Ops 3. A lot of people. Before we get into the, like, like the arguments here, a lot of people on the Facebook pages and even on videos on Call of Duty, uh, a lot of people have been saying that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is similar to Black Ops 3. Like, they're both the same game. Well, since I played the beta for five days straight, actually for four days and a half, because I know the fifth day, it was a total shit. It was just a total lag fest all over the goddamn place. Uh, since I played the game four days and a half, I can tell you something. I can confirm that Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is not the same thing as Black Ops 3. It, hell no. Hell no. I'm telling you, that movement system really, really made the games quite different. Now, the movement system in Black Ops 3, it is quite slower than Black Ops, I mean, than, than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And, um,. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, when you just advance into a, a random map, right, you try to confront everybody. What's everybody doing? Jumping really fast up and down in front of your face, trying to slam you down. Everybody's power sliding to the left and right in a quick speed. Compared to Black Ops 3, when you try to jump, you're actually gliding across the freaking sky. Like, it's slow. It's not fast as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where you just jump and you freaking, like, teleport up there. And Black Ops 3, you're kind of gliding. So another thing is Black Ops 3 does not have power slides, so you're not going to be able to like evade most of the shots they give you to you, so um, that's kind of a big problem, but at the same time it gives you more of a challenge when it comes down to confrontations. Uh, another thing is we do have wall runs on Black Ops 3, but the thing is it's not as fast as they made it seem, like in the trailers and everything. Also some Call of Duty YouTubers have said that if you do like um, like wall runs, like left and right, you drop into different walls, you will actually run faster. Bullshit, that's not true. You're actually running the same speed. So, in reality, you're never going to pick up your speed. At the end, you're going to have the same normal below average speed. I don't know. I felt super slow when I started on the first day. My uh, sensitivity was super slow. I couldn't turn as fast as I wanted. And um, the speed, I mean, I, I was trying to get out there. But every time I would get killed, I mean, I would spawn again. And I'm like, oh, damn it. It's taking way too long compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare where I get to slide and jump at the same time. Like, I'm, I can actually get to a certain spot real quick. But this year, I'm telling you, Black Ops 3 is not as fast as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And that's one big difference right there. That's what makes it different, you know, between these two games that, that uh, you know, the speed is not the same. So, uh, moving on to another thing about these two games, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare did not have any functional weapons. Now, the only weapons that were functional, though, was the Bell and the ASM-1. That's it. You will see everybody everybody even the noobs using the asm1 and the bell 24 7 that's it that's the game call of duty advanced warfare uh bell slash asm1 warfare that's what it was that's what it literally was i couldn't use the sng i couldn't use the mp9 because all of them freaking suck the assault rifles they were all right at some points they updated those weapons like the ak and the hbr and they all became weak and the only weapon that was functional was the bell and i'm like the fuck you know am i supposed to be only using the bow who, who came up with this crap like in reality call of duty advanced warfare did not have a large weapon selection at the end compared to black ops 3 right now currently how the status is right now before i'm on the beta every single weapon is functional every every other weapon can beat each other and um you know the damage on each weapon is actually kind of similar to each other just the the only difference between every single weapon is the fire speed the fire rate that's it which every weapon shoots the fastest pretty much can win every single uh, close range battle. But also if you increase, increase the speed, you can lose the range and the uh, accuracy. So um, it's just depending what kind of weapon you're feeling and using. And you're just making the same damage. All of the weapons have the same damage. So, um, so far. So 
Um, all the weapons are functional. The SMGs that I wanna that I'm currently using right now is the CUDA, the uh, Vest, the Vesper, and the VMP. That's three SMGs that actually work, and I'll, just, I'll rotate them, you know, in the matches and stuff, and all of them are, are workable with. And the assault rifles, you know, they do have a lot of so we do have a lot of assault rifles. Yeah, Man of War, the AKM, and uh, some of the assault rifles because I didn't test them all, and I'm telling you, they are all functional compared to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Because if you go to Call of Duty Advanced Warfare right now, the only weapon that you can use is the bell. I'm pretty sure everybody has a bell in their class setups. So uh, that's a win right there for Black Ops 3. To me, like, have a bigger weapon selection than Black Ops 3 right now. Uh, the maps, now the maps kind of um, are all right on Black Ops 3. They kind of seem similar to the previous ones in Black Ops 2. I don't know how to explain that, but the the thing I can say is the routes. You know, they're all the same thing. There's only three routes on all the maps. Like, are you serious? Can you just create a one that has multi-path? The only one that had multi-path, I believe, was... Um, I forgot the name of the map, but I'm pretty sure there's only one map out of the four they gave us that was actually multi-path besides three paths to get on the opposite side of the flags. Like, you start off an A, you, you want to go to the C flag, you only have three paths to go through. Like, what the hell is that? Like, don't, don't you ever think, like, making, like, around four or five paths to get to the opposite side of the map? Like, seriously? So, Black Ops kind of repeated their map styles and their map routes and... You know, it's just a repeat. That's why it feels kind of similar to every single map. Because I was like, I played this before. I wasn't shocked about the map. But they got they have cool designs, though. It's not all black and white like freaking Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and the Modern Warfare series. At least they have some color in them. So, uh, so yeah, that's some cool thing. And then Call of Duty Advanced Warfare maps, I mean, I don't know. I really didn't like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so I really can't say nothing about the maps. Um, all I'm gonna say is that uh, the fast pace kind of killed Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because it was overpowered as fuck. So um, another thing I want to say is the score streaks were kind of a more original. You know, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was really, really complicating on the score streaks. It just wasn't that good at all. Um, they have an overpowered system hack in the first days. Like seriously, when they call in the system hacks right away, you can see like a big X on your screen. I'm like, oh fuck, are you kidding me? They're 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 forcing me to use blind eye. They literally are, or whatever uh, score streak I needed to use to like get away from the system hack, and uh, that was just a total spam. Also, the system hack was ranked way too low, and that was actually kind of like an EMP. So why the hell would they rank an EMP at 500 points? I don't know. I mean. That's how they had it in Advanced Warfare. Another uh, score streak that was kind of overpowered was the freaking um, the Stealth Bomber. The Stealth Bomber on Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was overpowered. Even, inside, even though you were inside a building, you would still die. So really, you were never safe at all. And that shit was like 700 points. In this game, they're like 800 points, but it's not overpowered as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare because in this game, you can actually hide inside and you'll survive. And sometimes in the wide open spaces, it will miss. I mean, I called that stuff a few times, and it didn't kill anybody at some some certain points. And they were like in an open field. It was on the fourth map they gave us, like on the on the day number three, I believe. And that map has like a lot of open spaces. There's only one house, and yet nobody died. Like I'm like, what? So really, uh, the 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 stealth bomber on Black Ops is kind of underpowered. The one in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is way too overpowered. Like that's not even a fucking joke right there. So uh, yeah, those are the skill streaks thing, the score streaks. Uh, also, we still need to um, some of the score streaks in Black Ops Three, like uh, the AI robot they gave you. That one's kind of useless. It really sucks. Like, do not trust AI units at all in Call of Duty. They have it bad. Uh, another thing, the AGR, the AGR from Black Ops Two came back. That one's kind of cool to use. They give you a lot of free extra kills. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it on the score streaks. That's all I want to talk about. The weapons, we already talked about the weapons. The gameplay style, I mean, it's a lot it's more slow pace, which means it gives you more chances to actually kill somebody in this game. And um, that's why I survived longer in this game. I mean, uh, compared to my previous Call of Duty um, experiences, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, especially Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was slow paced too. It wasn't as fast as Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Because in those two games, they actually had lightweight. So, that's a thing that's Black Ops 2, that Black Ops 3 is missing. They need freaking lightweight perk. They don't have it. Also, let's move on to the perks. The perks are kind of, you know, half useless. Like, the only things I recommend will be Ghost and Cold Blooded and, you know, uh, Annie Up. Maybe a little bit on the, um, 
what's that that perk that allows you to like aim faster that one and some other one like this one is like around like half of the perks are actually usable the rest of the perks are just decorations that you can just put on your gun so um so yeah like the perks are all right compared to call the advanced warfare call the advanced warfare uh had like good uh like around you know more than half of the perks were actually good so um that is it guys that's the review that's the that's the um you know the verses here and i believe black ops 3 is better than call of duty advanced warfare and better than call of duty ghost at this point so it's finding its way up it's like right under black ops 2 i believe that's how good this game is it's it's good so i like the game and uh, if you guys got your own opinion leave it in the comment section also leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more black ops 3 multiplayer